go, video number three. All right, so the lady with the target bag just passed me. I pull in and uh, a lot of people in the parking lot. Guy in his for how many were chilling. in the uh, post office? Just chilling. Guy sitting there with his red hat on, hanging out. So you saw the red car just pass a second ago. There's a white car passing right now. I don't know if you saw it in the frame. Okay, what's happening? Cool. All right, I'll come by and get you in just about like, like 10 minutes. All right, parking lot. Cool. All right, see you there in a little bit. Love you. Bye. Be back in a minute, buddy. WTE9-5923. All right, so here's the same time same entrance time. exit. That lady could have easily held the door open for half a second, but it might be irritating to me right before I go to the post office and get me to... Look at her. Here it comes. Good morning. How are you? Now, this lady right here, I have not seen in here for years. Um, I used to go into this place with my wife every day, who's my ex-wife now, uh, we'd go in every single day. It's just our thing, we get to a certain point in the day, go drop the packages off. And, uh, good time to get out of the house. That was one of my good memories. What weird, a good memory is uh, going to the post office, right? But you know, just getting in the car, driving. Uh, and uh, I know that that would irritate me. So uh, you get, go ahead and say, I don't understand that. <laughs> and then go through this. Um, so that was supposed to irritate me and she makes sure that she reminds me who she is. Oh, I remember you. Listen, listen what she does. Daily drop-off? Uh, mostly daily, depends sometimes. Come in every day if I can. She said, I know when I used to be here, you guys used to drop stuff off every day. Almost every day. Almost, yeah, yeah, I spread it out a little bit. I remember you guys. Yeah. Like, yep, yeah, that's my ex wife. You gotta hear the story about that one. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a weird movie. A weird movie? Yeah. I won't bore you with the details right now, but because you're at work. But. So these are baseball caps in there if you're worried about them being damaged. They're. It'll be fine, unless somebody messes with them. Yeah, I've given some of these guys some of my business card and stuff. I talk about some of it right. on there. So. All right, well, good to see you. Right. Have a good day. Have a great day. Okay, so you see this lady? What are the odds that at the exact second that I walk out, she's gonna be just walking right in front of me? So this is the, the type of thing that just, you know, this this happens. You know, in everyday normal life, you know, timing, coincidences. Uh, but this is, uh, they're adding fuel here. They're, <laughs> this is not organic. This is, uh, you know, and some people would say, oh, excuse me or whatever. But, you know, where's she coming from anyway? And where is she going? There's really not, yeah, whatever. So, let's see this pink license plate over here. I, I started explaining that and then... Uh, so some other stuff come up. So one of the things that they will do to sensitize a targeted individual is they will surround them with a, a, a similar item, something that is similar that the they will put in front of the target over and over and over and over, whether it's the pink license plate on the car, the pink uh, windshield wipers, they will have um, a pink sticker. And these people, you won't just notice that they're you know in traffic around you. They'll do something... Uh, irritating to get your attention, uh, you know, swerve into your lane. They'll go fast, get in front of you, then slow down. They'll drive in your blind spot. 
for as long as they can. When you speed up, they'll speed up to stay in your blind spot. When you slow down, they'll slow down. Um, they are doing this intentionally and each one of them will have the identifier. Um, so by the end of the day, when 30 or 40 people have instigated you and you start to n realize that you're, you're probably going to go, oh, okay, it's obvious to me this is one of these people that are doing this on purpose, so you're going to get irritated. You're going to confront that person and say, hey, what's your deal? What, what's going on? What, why, why would you do this? You know, and then that's when they break into their active denial skit. What are you talking about? Who would do that? What's good? You know, and then um, these people that do the active denial that just claim, oh, delusional, delusional, you show them some, some proof. You explain to them some uh, something they can understand easily, and then they basically, after that, after you give them some facts, then they try to escalate the situation and start some kind of argument um, and make you the aggressor. That's uh, that's what this is supposed to be about. It's a phishing scam, um, and there's a lot of money involved. One of the um, the things I'll do. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hi. So, a guy in the red shirt, white truck. That guy had a uh, a manila envelope in his hand, I noticed. Uh, curious to see what manila envelopes I receive here in the new future. Just, you know, just from my uh, past experiences. Might be getting one of those here in the new future. Hey, white truck. I've been talking about indictments a lot, and uh, apparently the indictments are in a sealed folder. But also, uh, Karen Stewart, that worked for the NSA for 28 years, talks about how they keep manila folders in the uh, trunks of their car so they don't have to keep this stuff on digital files so they can just you know, like burn the folder if uh, somebody starts investigating them. There's video three, and it continues. Oh, let's see. Video four coming soon.